Alright guys, so I just recorded an entire first episode of what I thought this was going to be, but then I realized there's a setting I needed on that wasn't on, so we're just going to restart it. Um, GM Rimbus, and this is a fun little GM series here. We're not doing the Sabres, we're not doing any of these teams. We're doing a team that was just recently eliminated in the first round of the NHL playoffs. So there's your hint while we keep, while we keep scrolling, and we want to relocate them to a former place they were, another hint. It's going to be the Winnipeg Jets. We're, we want to go back to Atlanta. We want to redo the Thrashers. It's going to be fucking awesome. Um, we're using Tactics HD's roster. Um, he's a YouTuber. Look him up on YouTube. You'll get his roster. So here's the settings we're rocking. Auto mode is on, but I want auto auto mode on because I don't want to deal with anything, anything except to relocate. Auto except relocation, which is on. Play morale off. Fog of war off. Which is On. CPU trades, auto owner mode, which handles everything I don't want to handle. Auto accept relocation is on, which is what we want. We want to go back to Atlanta. So basically, the setting I needed on was this one here accept relocation. Didn't have it on. Relocation was declined. And it sucked, dude, because our first season, we finished third from the bottom, which would have been a great draft selection. Great draft selection. So let me explain how we're going to do this here. Our first year. We are going to be sitting back and watching the old regime do it. We're just going to have head coach, best lines on. Um, if the owner has any requested moves, if we're in a position at the deadline to do so, we're going to have that GM make that move. But if not, the goal is for this team to have an unsuccessful season so that we can take over in the offseason and do what we really want to do. Okay? So let's make sure owner mode on, fancy off, NHL side cap on, GM firing off, head coach side lines off, fog of war off, play morale off, CPU trades is on, auto owner mode is on. Accept relocation on auto sign free agents, auto staff management. No, okay, I'm cool with how we got right here. That's what we're looking for. So we will start that. One more thing I would like to do is take the gameplay sliders and move them down to 12 for injuries, only because you get really fucked if not. We can always change this too. Let me know if this is. Oh shit. Let me know if this is way too low. I find it's a very realistic experience. Let's let me know. Okay, we're going to start this career, keep salary cap on, perfect. We are right where we want to be. We're going to load in here, and our first year is going to be spent um, just watching, I guess. That's what the first episode will be about. We're going to propose relocation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have authorized you to ne negotiate relocation. Perfect. Atlanta, yes, 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 yes. I don't even need to look at anything else. That's for, for, for fun. The other options are Baltimore, uh, Birmingham, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Halifax, Hamilton, Hartford, Houston, Indianapolis, Kansas City, Markham, Miami. Miami would be fun, dude. Miami apartment. Milwaukee, New Orleans, Oklahoma City, Portland, Quebec City. Ooh, Gina, Sacramento, Salt Lake City, San Diego, San Francisco, Saskatoon. Saskatoon was our one last year. If we did the Saskatoon Prairie Dogs, very fun series. Recommend checking that out. Atlanta, dude. We're going back to Atlanta. Ah, ah, ah. City wants 70. Fuck it. Fuck it. 23, that's fine. I don't know if we're doing the series. We will match what the city wants, dude. Who gives a... Fat fuck. I'm submitting this proposal. Deal is accepted. We're completing that deal. We're going to Atlanta, baby. Ha, 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 ha. So real quick, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to work on our jerseys, our mascots, everything you can imagine. I'm going to work on it right now. So I'll see you guys in a few. All right, guys. So we designed the jerseys, designed the arena. And I got to say, I really, really like the jerseys. Um... I've already exited from that screen, so I think we're just going to save that, okay? You guys can be surprised as well, unless I accidentally somehow show it, which you never know. But let's take a look at the team we're rolling with this year, okay? Um, head coach. So I'm going to turn it off, but what I'm going to do is make sure the lines are set. Okay, so this is what the head coach would do, um, or is doing, I guess. So you get that plus five up top. Profetti. First real NHL year with PLD and Blake Wheeler's old ass. 
And then here's the bottom six. Nothing to yeah, top nine. Like you got some players that can play in the NHL, but you're not really rostering a lot of difference makers. Here's the defensive core. Scratched, uh, Gagne, Stanley, and yep, him. Goalies, Hellebuck, and Riddich. We're going to take a look at our AHL team. Make sure they are also rostering head coach preferred lines. Um, I don't believe this team is too... They got some good prospects. Well, actually, we'll go take a look at the contract stream contracts screen for that. We'll make sure we have a full understanding of what we're getting into. Um, 25-year-old Kyle Connor, probably our best, or is our best player, and obviously not a prospect anymore, but he's still a young age to where you can kind of retool, slate rebuild, and he'll still be very effective. Yeah, yeah, you'll probably have to pay him again. Yeah, they bridge him? I didn't give him super long term there. Alright, so that's Kyle Connor. Eller, similar deal, 26. PLD, also pretty young. Um, so these guys are all in the NHL. Perfetti, medium elite, is very nice. Where did he get drafted? The 10th overall? Should be a good player for us. And you got Shifley. So these guys, I'm looking for some younger guys. I think I am looking on the roster. Top, yes, yeah, so nothing. Let's go look in the system. Brad Lambert is a low elite, drafted in the first round last year with some nice star uh, star factors. Chaz Lucius is a real prospect here with top six potential. 72 at 19 is very solid. Former first round pick. We'll see what we can do with him. Rucker McGrody. <coughs> Excuse me. Didn't really know he was a Winnipeg Jet. But it's nice to have him. Another legit prospect. And you got Veselainen who, former first round pick. I don't, has he gotten any? He's gotten some NHL experience and he has five points in 70 games. So we'll see. Then Vili Hanola, top four potential. Salaman Amanamason. Top four potential. These guys, they're not bad for where they are. And then you got your top nines, top 60. Um, anything goalie wise for us? You got a medium starter and a fringe starter. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. Okay, so we, this team could definitely use some real good prospects thrown in there. So I think we are finally ready. Like I said uh, in the first part of this video, we are just gonna sit back and watch and see how this team does. And we'll make our decision from there. Our goal, what we want, what I personally would like to happen is to have a rebuild, have a season where you can just kind of rebuild off of. Um, anything from a first round exit to just completely bombing and missing the playoffs is a realistic outcome to go on and have that small rebuild slash retool. I mean, if this team makes it to the Stanley Cup Finals, I feel like you owe them to keep the core together. So I'm not just going to decide what we're doing now. I'm going to see what's happening before we make that decision. But I do want to share what I want. But I would prefer to have the most enjoyable, fun experience with this team. And that would be to fail this year, take over, and then have it our way. BK. And we'll go from there. Is there anything I'm missing? Oh, I'm, I want to take a look at the coach. <clears throat> I want to see the coach that this team has. Hopefully he sucks. And then A-minus veterans coach. It actually might be perfect for this team. Yeah, 58% scheme fit. And... I Oh good, um, so I just had to fix something real quick, that's why I got cut off, but what I found funny was that he's a veterans coach and the oldest player here is the least scheme fit for him. Ironic, but yeah, we're going to let this team roll. So our job right now is to sit back and just watch. Our moves will be made probably in the next video here, but we are tasked with just kind of letting it go. Like I said, if the owner comes to me, or the other GM, and asks for a specific move, and the team is realistically in a position to make that move. We'll make that move for him. Auto assign these promotion nights. Like I said, we'll get into the, more of this stuff when it's us running it. We'll have some fun promotion nights for the team. We'll do like a Connor Bedard bobblehead. Just kidding. I don't think we'll be that bad to where Bedard's in our reach. Um, it'd be nice. Talk about... <laughs> there you go. Neil Pionk already injured. And we lost that game. Like I said, an unsuccessful year would be pretty beneficial for what we're trying to do. What's up, Sean? I literally said that sentence and we've won three in a row, so. Ah, yes, four. Four! Um, not sure how much there really is to talk about right now. We're just going to sit back 
And you guys are going to get this real-time experience for now. I could edit this part out, but don't believe we're going to be doing so. Um, what, what should we talk about right now, guys? Um, so, yeah, we're using Tactics Roster. I've really enjoyed it. I just did a Columbus Blue Jacket series with it. Um, oh, sweet. Um, there's more X-Factors, but with the League having more scoring now in real life, it's, um, I'd say more on the realistic side there. You have so many players that are just putting up almost point-per-game seasons. It's insane. So, it's, oh, fuck, this team's doing well. Shit, you assholes. Um, and it's got the college prospects in it, so it's nice. I like how the Sabres have Levi in this one. It gives it a more realistic feel for the entire entire uh, series, which will be good. 18, 14, and 4. And um, it also puts Fantilli in the draft class, too. Which, if you don't have this, if you don't have his roster, uh, you don't get Fantilli. You get, not Fantilli. Uh, I don't think we claim Weidman. Fuck, dude, they're going to make the playoffs. <clears throat> now the record's not even great, but if they sneak in wild card. Damn, damn. There's, uh, holy fuck. Right. I've updated owner goals on this current status. All right, what, what are your owner goals? You want us to advance to the Stanley Cup final. That's, that's a hell of a goal. Nice, jo nice job out on that one. Um, but he didn't put in anything for this team to make any moves at the deadline. You know, sometimes it'll tell you they want to acquire a certain pedigree player, like a top four defenseman or something like that. Nothing like that. So I don't think we're going to be making too many moves at the deadline here. Um, we will take a look at what other teams do because it will affect us as we come in next year. So 30, 24, and 7. It's honestly a pretty solid record there. 67 points puts... Oh, wow, they're better than the Avalanche. Okay, so our division's kind of weakish. Not weakish, actually. It's only four points less than... All right, so, I mean... Third divisional spot right now. It's possible we get bounced. Take a look at everyone's performing real quick. Yeah, the first line's solid. I don't like Shafley. Oh, how's Perfetti? Perfetti jumped up, I believe, from an 81 to an 83, which is good. I want him ready to go for when we take over next year. And the Pierre-Luc Dubois situation will be interesting because his contract's up. Morrissey. Top pairing's not doing too good. No, no parents are really doing too good. Ah, yes. Bottom pairing guys are doing solid. And Hellebuck, 905. Could be worse. Yeah, I don't think there's anything this team... If the owner came and said something, we would consider that. But this old regime, I don't think they're making any moves. So we are just going to... Well, take a look. Spurgeon, Larkin, Kane, Varlamov, Ekholm, Fowler. Dude, I don't think this team would really... First of all, in real life, I don't think they did too much at the deadline. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, they didn't do too much at the deadline. But what we'll do is we will take a look around the league real quick. And see what the hell is going on. Uh, player and pick trading. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom. Don't look at that. Don't spoil it. All right, so all these trades are from March 4th, which is the trade deadline. Montreal acquires a second in Brock McGinn in exchange for a third. Joel Armia in a fourth. Islanders will acquire Kalen Addison and Alex Golgowski. So loading up that blue line a little bit in the in the Long Island. Minnesota requires a second. Tanner, I believe, Leno and a third. Okay, so a little haul for... I believe Kalen Addison is pretty young, too. So good. Honestly, that's a solid trade. Anaheim acquires Brennan Othman and Carl Henriksen in exchange for Kevin Shattenkirk, who still plays. Justin Brown, who is now retired in real life, and a third and a fifth in exchange for Seamus Casey, which is a real prospect, and Tyler Brennan. Uh, Chicago will acquire a second and another second in exchange for Max Domi, a third and a third. Oh, no, Gergensen's. Gergensen's goes from Buffalo with a third for a second, a third, and Cole Schwint. Or Kale Schwint. There's like two Schwints, and they're both on Florida. Um, but, damn, Gergensen's hauled a second to us, and that's not bad. But they gave up the third as well, actually, so that, I see. Okay, anyways, moving on. Seattle acquires a second and a second in exchange for Yanni Gord. 
some playoff experience going to New Jersey. Toronto will acquire a third Carson Soucy and a third in exchange for Kakanen, Matt Murray, and not Matt Ellis. Uh, oh, here we go. Chicago, who I guess is a... Who the hell is the buyer in this trade? Chicago or Nashville? Interesting. Okay, well, Eklund goes to Chicago, who is a defenseman that's pretty good with some term. And Anastasia, who's got one year left but is a serviceable forward, goes back to Nashville for a fourth and Juju. We're moving on, Detroit will acquire two seconds in exchange for Andrew Kopp, who lasted one year, and a third and a fifth. Ryan Suzuki and Joel Nystrom in exchange for a third, a fifth, and Matthias Yanmark. Chicago acquires a second and a fifth in exchange for Connor Murphy. So it looks like Chicago was the seller, or is a seller, based off that trade. Anaheim will acquire a second, and Ottawa will acquire a third, a fifth, and I believe that's Derek Grant. A second, and Hemo Salami in exchange for a third. Josh Archibald in seven. So nothing. Okay, here's Gav. Gavrikov goes to Toronto for a second and a third. Okay. Monaghan, a fourth, and a third. Another fourth in exchange for a second and a fourth. Okay, now I'm just going to look for some. Right, of course, Jack. Who's the player? Oh, Troy Stetcher. Okay. Dominic Bach. Saskatoon Prairie Dog Legend. So, yeah, nothing too big at the trade deadline. There were some names in there. Gavrikov. Addison. Um, Cop went. But nothing. No sweepstakes, I'd say. Right, let's hopefully bomb the rest of this year and miss the playoffs. Oh, yeah, buddy. Perfect. Next, I'm just going to best lines, head coach, replace player. We now have more losses. Oh. oh, Damn, this team loves overtime and shootouts. Okay. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's get a closer look where we're at. The Winnipeg Jets are beneath the Coyotes by five points. Holy shit. Okay, so I don't think we're catching the wild card because that's 86 points. So we need to catch... Oh, we're 10 points out right now, boys. I think our what the goal we wanted may have actually come true. Calgary's a good team. We beat them. Okay. Still on the outside looking in, though, which is good for what we technically want. Of course, they start fucking winning. So we are 11 points out. Nine points out. If we're chasing down the Flames, we're nine out. Kyle Connor is now done for the year. So that should about wrap things up here. Yep. We have been eliminated from playoff contention. Oh, boy. Owner's pissed. Owner is pissed. The fuck did I just read? Rangers win 4-3 over Toronto. Hashtag Panarin. Ripped home. Three Genos. Hashtag Hattie. EA is so in touch. We should probably look at our, how the team played. Man, the Manitoba Moose do. They miss? Oh, the Manitoba Moose. Missed out. Damn. Damn! Trey Flea. Led the team with 78 points in 82. Kyle Connor, good year. Elders. Okay, so this team... Oh, these guys were really good at the first half of the year, and it seemed like they fell off. Hot Perfetti. Perfetti at 47. Shit, is that is that Calder worthy? Oh, shit. Is that Calder worthy? Let's give it a look. Let's give that bad boy a look. It is not Calder worthy. Dylan Gunther went the fuck off. Yeah, Berniers makes sense, too. Kuzmenko, no, th no, shut, no. Jack Quinn makes sense. I think he did, but like, 45 points in real life, so 61 is a little more, but... Turco, wow, okay. And then Wyatt Johnson down here, we got Cole Perfetti. So, that's all right. No Calder for us. Um, let's keep going through our skaters, so Perfetti. Morris, he had a good year for a defenseman. Minus, just don't look at the plus minus. Then you got some scrubs up here. Take a look at our goalies. Hellebuck, I expected a better year out of him. I was hoping he had a better year because uh, trade value would be pretty nice. But yeah, that's that's year one, boys. 
We'll take a look around the entire league, actually. We'll get a sense of... I keep hitting the wrong button. We'll get a sense of what really took place in the league this year. All right. Entire league. Sebastian Ajo. 100 points. Crosby with 100. Or 105 for Ajo. Then you have got Dreisaitl, McDavid, Pedersen, Panarin. So you got your... Everyone here is making sense to me. Barzell with 85. Pretty solid. Um, yeah. Tage. Goals. McDavid with 48. Makes sense. Assists. Adam Fox. Yeah. Holy shit. Carlson. Great year. Ajo had a ton. McCarr. Who won uh, the green jacket? Seth Jones. Congratulations. Seth Jones. At least he's rich. Penalty minutes. Holy shit, Moose. 241 is ridiculous. Holy shit, he was pissed off this year. 112 is his previous high. Holy, and you got Brendan Smith, Tom Wilson, Kachuk, Janelle. Okay, so you got you got your bangers here. I don't even know why I looked at this. I should have known. That makes doesn't matter. Who was a bit thrown around that body this year? Rupe? Rupe Hintz. Matthew Boldy. Or Matt Boldy. Nachushkin. Fred Marshan. Okay. You got you got, got some guys. <laughs> Who's blocking the puck? Seth Jones. Wow. Falk. Yeah, these are all be defensemen. Who's winning the Selkie? Matty Beniers, if he wins the Selkie. And the Calder. Yeah, it's, it'll go to Bergeron. Tage, though. Not bad. Check out who dropped the goal. Marcus Foligno had 35 fights. Wow. Brendan Smith had 30. These guys are angry this year. Okay, so fighting is... um. Fighting's up with this roster, I will say. And that's okay. It makes it a little more fun. I like it. I like it. The league's going back to how it used to be. At least going back to how it should be. Let's take a look at some goalies. Holy shit, Darcy. Spencer Knight only played 23. Huso, 69 games played. A 9-2-2, and you have a losing record. What was this team in front of him? Kemper had a great year. He had more wins, so he might actually win the Vesna. Yeah, Demko could too. Um, yeah, so those are your top goalies there. Hellebuck is not to be found. Any goalie goals? No goalie goals. No goalie penalties. We got some assists, though. Jonathan Quick, playmaker. Okay, I believe you showed off everything we are interested in. I believe. Now, Mike, there's no bookkeeping that needs to be done yet. Mike is our bookkeeper for this series, okay? Everyone give a shout-out to Mike. He's bookkeeping. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. I think we just send these playoffs. We'll go back. We'll look at the tree, the playoff tree. And then I think ownership gets a little pissed off at the coach. I think a move is made, personally. That's what I would do. I think we'll take this bad boy up to the draft. This will just be an introduction video. You guys can see what exactly is the situation of this team. Washington Capitals. Wow. And the Hershey Bears. Okay. So your NHL and AHL team both won. So good, good for you, Washington. All right. We have the sixth overall pick. Wow. Okay. I uh, would have done actually a little bit of a reveal for this maybe, but I, it snuck up on me. I kind of forgot we missed the playoffs. But picking six overall for this team is a failure. Um, it's good for us taking over. Yeah, You want to advance to the Stanley Cup final, and we missed the playoffs. I'd say we stop. Please don't get to prospects. A number. Oh, okay. The moving trucks are packed up. Okay, sweet. So we're getting ready to relocate. A somber collection of fans showed up to watch the team depart. Some hold banners wishing you good luck in Atlanta. Others I can't repeat. Ooh, mixed feelings about going back to Atlanta. Please stop the sim. I have a feeling we're going to have to interview these players before I can fire the coach, but that's okay. Joe Thornton finally hangs him up. Mike, you guys signed Joe Thornton for the playoff push, so that's good. Ah, he played in the AHL. He tore it up, though. Good for you, Joe. Jumbo. Shea Weber finally hangs him up. Brent, all right, who's the first guy that was actually playing to retire? I don't even think Brian Boyle was on a team. Come on. No way, just on Lori Korpakoski's name. 
Give me an active player. No way Nate Thompson's active either. Cal O'Reilly. Give me... Come on. Nothing. So no real players retired. Unless we're looking at some goalies here. No goalies retired. Okay. I'll fuck myself. We're going to have to do this interview real quick. That's okay. Alright, so you guys, we're going to bring this right up to the draft. I wish we could get Bedard. I wish. So who's projected to go at six? A forward, Passy or Dio. NHL already teamless line. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't think he's got the gold X factor, boys, but he has got... Looks like what, he's your typical sniper build. Yeah, he's got the sniper build. I mean, this is an A, a plus league with 17 points. is pretty motherfucking good. Some character concerns, though. Maybe he's mad he's 5'9". Me too, though. Me too. Lack size. Don't worry. It's all about how you use it. Reach. But he can shoot that bitch. Good skating. Magic hands. What's this? Can I see his speed? No, I can't see that until after he's drafted. But he's got... I don't think he'll have a gold X factor. Which will play a role in if we select him or not. We have Will Smith. Actor turned hockey player. He's got himself a nice gold X factor. Okay. He could be solid. Just spit all over the mic. Zachary Benson. We don't know if he's got a gold X factor either. We've got these boys scouted too. Uh, we don't know. I mean, he might. It's two bar though. Dalbert Dvorsky. Okay, so he's got the X-Factor. I'm thinking, based off what I've seen so far, unless we can somehow move up here. Um, like, maybe team's trying to trade back. I wouldn't be mad with a Will Smith, though. We know he's got the X-Factor. It's a safe pick. Look, he's got a good two-way game. He's got no contest, quick pick, yoink. But he's also got some shooting ability there with snipe and make it snappy. Yeah, he's got a harvest shot. He's good one on one. He's good. Okay, so is he a? Oh, he's a two way forest. So he's got some power forward traits here with the puck protection, and I believe no contest is similar to a power forward build. So he seems pretty well diverse, and he seems like he's got a great shot. Yeah, shooting's an A. Puck skills A. He's got to work on a little defensive game. I wouldn't mind Will Smith being added to this team right now. I'd say he's the favorite to get drafted by us. So we're gonna mark him. I mean, if, I don't. I just want to make sure I'm not passing up anything crazy here. Because I mean, 17 points, 59 games played. I think we need to bring some guys in for an interview. Um, we're gonna mark down who we will consider drafting here. Obviously, Bedard's up here. Fantilli's up here. I know we. Oh, then again, this isn't college. Okay, I was thinking it's 17 points in the college year. <laughs> Fantilli's only 17 points in a B minus league. And we haven't scouted him, and he's projected to go way earlier than we have. We'll keep him on there. We'll probably bring in Fantilli and Carlson to try and discover their potential. I mean, A-plus league, Leo Carlson only had 17 points. Can, and he played only 10 less games than Ordeo, who had... Oh, they had the same amount of points, and this guy had way more games played. Why did I think that was different? All right, so I want to bring in Fantilli and Carlson for an interview. Mitch Kopp, you know, we know about him. He's also a fellow shooter. 22 points in 20, 53. So he's obviously a little more def, uh, refined than Ordeo here. Who is Fen Lingberg? Do we know about him? He's he Okay, so he's got elite edges. Um, So we know he's got a gold X factor, which is very important. Shut down and send it. So a little playmaking ability and some two-way game. While being a good skater, it's 6-4. And he's got A-plus shooting. 19 points. For, okay. What am I bringing this guy in either? Okay, so obviously we are interested in these top dogs. Benson. I'll leave him on there. Okay, so I, I think I want to bring in Fantilli, Leo Carlson, and Jaeger all for interviews because this is like the top 10 minus the 10th pick. So top 9, we will have a pretty good idea of what we're dealing with. So we'll start our interview with Fantilli. I would like to know. I'd assume. I'd assume he's NHL ready, but I think we're gonna make sure we know that before we keep going with him. 
All right, so he is ready to make an impact in the NHL now. We'll get a little breakdown on his play style. A strong forward uh, who likes to drive the net while wearing down the other team's defense. Sounds like a power forward. And let's see what else. Could we ask him to help figure out maybe his potential? I don't think his personality has too much to do with it. So we're going to go over to skills. So we know about his strength. He's more of a... Yeah, they used to drive the net. Let's hear what his weaknesses are. I'm more of a skill. So his physicality is not there. So he's a power forward with no physicality? Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, he's a power forward and weaknesses are physical. I don't know. He's Something about him. Not that I'm screaming boss, but I don't know if I'm... I know he's going second overall. We, I'm talking in terms of if we were to trade up for him. I don't think if Fantilli was an option for trading up, I think we would. I don't think he'd be our selection. Personally, just off what I'm seeing. Let's talk to Leo Carlson, who is a highly touted prospect. Okay, so he's ready to make an impact in the NHL now. Playmaker. And we'll just ask him the same questions. We'll go with weaknesses for him as well. Now, for him, having physicality as a weakness makes sense because he's not a power forward. That's why I'm kind of thrown off with Fantilli. He's a power forward, but he doesn't use it to his advantage. Interesting. It's The player's not screaming out to me. Not that we're going to take him off our draft board, but I, I might have put like Leo Carlson ahead of him, Mitch Kava ahead of him, obviously Bedard, high franchise. This guy's ridiculous. And he doesn't... Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Similar with Bedard to Ordeo, I think maybe Ordeo could have a gold X Factor. Because you see, C and I, Heatseeker, only three bars. So it's not fully understood what he has yet. But obviously, Bedard's going to have his X Factors. And see how they're also not fully understood. Um, so I, I think there's a chance Ordeo has himself a star X or a gold X Factor. I think there's a chance. Same with Benson. Benson's a similar one. These are. All are not understood. Um, we know he's immediately. I think I want to still interview Braid and Jaeger. See if we can get anything discovered about him. That way we'll have a decent understanding about all these guys. I would like to chat about your style of play. Are you ready? Right on the cusp. It's like one year. And what kind of player are you? His shy is a sniper. Is this guy a center? Center snipers are always interesting. Um, we'll just ask him his weaknesses as well. Let me know if you guys think I should be asking different questions. Okay, so all these guys are not very physical. But that's the new NHL. Unless if you're Marcus Foligno, you beat the shit out of guys 35 times a year. That's f fucking nuts, dude. Um, okay, so... Interesting, interesting, interesting. I personally know who I would like at 6 if he's there. Uh, I got some guys that maybe if there's a chance to trade up for, we do so. I believe Chicago finished first, so they they would be picking Bedard. The least deserving uh, franchise for that. But let's take a look and see if there's any late round gems hidden for us. So obviously, going at 17, it's still the first round. I'm looking for 99. We got a goalie here. Not the greatest stats. But I mean, Scout says he's a gem. He's got, we know he's medium elite. We'll mark him down as well. Any other late round guys kind of jumping out? Any low elites? 56. 129. We got some three bar. In a C league. 43 points. C minus league. Three years. Could be some nice players. Here's a goalie that played didn't play. Interesting. Um, here we go. So late first round, you got yourself a top six forward. Nothing too crazy. 64. Wouldn't be bad to pick up a guy late. We'll mark him. Uh, top 6 forward low at 55. Wouldn't be terrible. 75. Wouldn't be terrible. This is still late first round. Here we go. 46. Top 4D. And Scott says he's a gem. We'll mark him. We'll mark him down. 36. Alright. So there are the guys we are targeting. This guy looks solid, too. And another medium starter just that late. Holy shit, this guy had uh, only 11 games. And this guy's marked... Yeah, we'll take a look through the gems real quick, actually, too. And bus. Gem slash bus. So we... Oh, thanks, scouts. Uh, Bedard's a gem, by the way. 
in case you were wondering. We'll mark down all the gems. And we will not be drafting Sam Alfano, as our scout says he's a bust. But going at 102 anyways, how good would he have been? So that's for the draft class, boys. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so we're at... Oh, shit. You guys can see the logo. Okay. You know, if you stayed the whole video, you just earned yourself the right to look at our jerseys. If I can find them. Customized jerseys. Okay, come take a look. Come take a look. Come one, come all. So, our logo. I went with a bird. A different type of bird than the Thrasher's logo. Well, it might be the same bird. I know, I learned a Thrasher's a bird by Googling it, okay? And I kind of went with the same colors. Thrasher's, I have that blue, that black, a little bit of red, and a little bit of yellow. So I made the eye red, the beak yellow, the bird blue, and the background slash feathers all black and stuff. I like it. I really, I really, really like the logo. Uh, I thought it turned out really nice. It's similar to the Thrasher's actual logo. Then we uh, pay tribute to our Winnipeg Jets. Two secondary marks. Team uniform. This is where we have some fun. Here is our home uniform. I think these are awesome. I think they're so sick. Um, maybe if you want to talk to me about the yellowing around the numbers, I'll hear you out. I'll hear you out. But honestly, you've got all the colors they had, and I think the jersey setup, like where the lines are, the stripes are, I think it's sick. I really like what we got going on here. I think our home jersey is fantastic. I really do. Let me know what you think. Away jersey. Very similar. Um, still got your red, your black, your blue. A little bit of yellow. And yeah, these are... Okay, so that's the big reveal. Let me know what you guys think of the jerseys. Let's go to the mascot. <laughs> this looks like a bird. This is the closest bird thing I could find. And I want our boy Thick. Um, what was his name? What did I name him? Thrashy. Thrashy the mascot. What number should he be? Thrashy should be... I bet you thought I was stopping at 69, huh? Bet you thought... He's Gretzky. There you go, Thrashy. We're at 99. But he's looking good. Let me know what you guys think. I put a lot of time... Yeah, 45 minutes. Put 45 minutes into that. Here's the arena you can see as well. Uh, I think it all looks really great. So we're going to save. And before we get out of here for this video, we'll start the draft in the next one. We will fire... Oh, awards! That's right. Almost forgot, as I just saw Darcy Kemper won the Vesna. Spoiler alert. Let's check out the awards and the playoff tree. Ooh, I almost forgot. So Washington Capitals, welcome back to winning the cup. Who do they play? President's Trophy was Tampa Bay. It was Colorado. They made it back, but they lost to Washington. Very interesting. Let's look at some individual awards. awards. Art Ross goes to Ajo. 105 points. But Hart Memorial also goes to Ajo. 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 James Norris will go to Adam Fox. Lady Bing to Ajo. What a year for Sebastian Ajo, dude. What a year. Yeah, Genther makes sense for Calder. Con Smythe. Wow. Good job, Ovi. Fesna to Darcy. There you go. William of Jennings to Shesterkin. Congrats to Olimata. Gray will win to Jack Adams. Selkie goes to Bergeron. Yeah, I kind of figured. Ted Lindsay to Ajo. And to Maurice Bouchard. To Ovechkin, who had 48 goals this year. Awesome. Look at the playoff tree. See how it broke down. So, starting off on the west. In seven, D Dallas destroyed, not destroyed, beat Nashville. Colorado over Calgary. Man, that must have sucked for Kadri. Your old friend's beating up on you. Wow, San Jose made the playoffs and beat Vegas. And, Ve and the Ducks got swept by Canucks. And San Jose beat the Canucks. San, o San Jose went to the west finals and took them to seven. Uh, what? Okay. Anyways, let's head over to the East. Wow, I would have thought Carolina had a better year, but when you run into the Cup winner in the second round, I see why they were eliminated. So Capitals dealt with the Maple Leafs. They dealt with... Wow, they had an easy... Not easy, but they took care of business all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. So they went to seven, and they beat the Colorado Avalanche. Excuse me. Boston over Florida, unlike real life. New Jersey over... Tampa and seven. That would be a fun series to watch in real life. New Jersey and Tampa. Then Boston took care of New Jersey and then lost to the Capitals, which they beat the Avalanche. So, very... A lot to take in there. It's like a fun playoff here, though. San Jose makes no sense to me. I think it's time... Oh, we can't look at the roster, can we? That's okay. Let's fire the coach. Let's fire the coach. 
end the season off with a bang. Can I fire him yet? I can't. <laughs> okay, we will fire the coach at... Oh, I can. Yes, my bad, guys. Bryson! Goodbye. This will be my coach. This will be my regime. My regime. All NHL coaches are gone. You know what? You know what? NHL coaches, too. I want to find my guys. Perfect. So, coming in the next year, we will start next video. We will start next year with the draft. Work through the offseason. Work through who we want to coach. Who we want to bring in here. Who we want to trade away throughout the year. So, we'll get all into that. This is your first episode of the Atlanta Thrashers 2023. Thank you all very much. I hope you continue to watch. Um, enjoy the rest of your days.